All right, welcome back, guys. So today I'm going to show you how to automatically run a script um, via Mac. You can schedule an R uh, script to run whenever you want, basically. Um, first of all, let's create a script. I created here in R Studio. It's much simpler to do in a, in a PC. I find it a little bit much more complicated. I don't know, it's just me. Um, I'm fairly new to Max, so maybe that's why. So let's see. Um, I just wanted to hmm, let's create a simple something very, I mean you could do whatever you want, but for this video we'll just uh, try and just return some data I guess. All right, so first of all, you need to set your working directory. Uh, this is a very, you have to be very specific um, from what I've read. Uh, I don't know if it works if you don't set a working directory or I'll show you what I mean. So here are working directory, we'll set working directory to, um, Let's do desktop R just for simplicity, which is my working directory. It should, it should save here in this folder here. Okay, so then we need to install the packages. Um, let's just do... I forgot you have to be very specific as far as the source um, so let's just copy this okay and then library quant mod Okay, so then the actual script begins. I think you have to do this for um, all packages that you need, but for now, I, I just need quant mod. So let's see, I wanted to return get symbols. Again, this is just for the sake of this video, but you could run whatever you want. Uh, get symbols, optimal sign, false. Okay, it should, it should store Apple uh, data into A. And then we'll just write that data. CSV2, okay. And then where you want to save it. So here we'll do, I guess we could save it on the desktop or the same, the same folder be much simpler. And then name it. Okay, so first, uh, oh, we need to save it. So control um, command S, and then let's just name it test. Okay, and then we run it just to make sure everything runs well. Have one extra parentheses here. Okay, so first you want to test it to see if it actually runs. So here it says it can't uh, change the working directory, probably because, oh, here I messed up, tilde uh, forward slash desktop forward slash r. So we'll try that again. It runs. Run this one. Hit yes. No, I don't want to restart.
Okay. And then get symbols. Hmm, it doesn't like this line here, but let's just see. So we'll do that. So library quant mod, and then um, leave it, leave it how it is here. It's probably because I installed it previously um, that it doesn't like it. So then we'll do get symbols, we'll return it into A, and then we're gonna write that data. And it should pop up in this folder here. All right, oh, okay. So I don't like how that looks. So let's go ahead and write it as an XLS file, but for that, we're gonna need the XLSX. Um, I think you need to install Java for this. If you don't have it, it'll it'll break. It'll break. But see here, it loaded perfectly. Um, so we just need to change this. Okay, and then we'll run this. It doesn't like it. It does not like it. <laughs> okay, let's see. I always had this issue when writing it to uh, the desktop. I think it wants me to specify the whole extension of the folder. So if you go to get info, You'll find that where it's actually stored. I'm gonna go ahead and write that out. So let's do Macintosh HD slash users slash J file slash desktop. Let's see if it likes that now. Nope, doesn't like that either. Let's try this. Tilda. Hmm, how weird. How weird. Maybe if, since we set our working directory here, maybe if I just actually just save it, it'll save there. Let's try that. Oh, now it actually likes it. So that works. And let's check it out. See, it's much cleaner. So this is what we want. Right, so go ahead and delete it. And now, now that you have it saved, you can go ahead and exit it. Exit our studio. Uh, save, sure, why not? Okay. Don't save. Uh, and then you need to uh, open up terminal. And then hit cron tab um, dash E. It will open up your cron tab, and then what you need to write why is it not writing? So it'll open this up, and what these uh, tildes mean is just that. Um, all this, the schedule tabs here. If you don't have anything, that means that you don't have any schedule. You haven't scheduled anything yet. But if it'll let me actually write something, there we go. All right. So, um, I, so I went ahead and wrote this out here in, the, in this document. So, what this means is, um, I wanted to run 
on the 59th minute, 23rd hour, and then you could, um, so it's, I think it's uh, minutes, hours, um, I think it's, I want to say days, that doesn't seem right. On tab. Let's try format. Let's go to handy dandy. Here we go. Uh, Wikipedia. So it's minute, hour, day of the month, month, and day of the week. So how I have it here is I want it to run on the 59 minute of the 23rd hour and then uh, put asterisks if you don't want to, to run it on the specific day of the month or such and such. And then Tuesday to Friday basically is what this means. You have to specify where your R script, where your R is uh, um, located, which is this here, user local bin R script. And then you need to set in quotation marks where the actual script is set. So let's just copy this semi-copy it so since it's 847 I'll try to make it run at 49th minute of the 8th hour asterisk asterisk uh, I'll just put another asterisk because I want it to run now and then user local, local bin our script marks user desktop r and then we we named it test dot r and then um, once you have that uh, completed go ahead and click uh, escape escape and shift cz it'll return this um, Okay, so now we wait until it's uh, 8.49 and it should run, hopefully. Nothing's going to pop up uh, except for that file. It'll run in the background. So now we wait. So it should be running now. If all goes well. Uh, you can also test it out here. Let's see. Looks like something went wrong. It's not returning anything. Shouldn't take this long. So what you want to, if you want to test it out, just run um, R script, and then users See if it'll run. See it runs and it returns this here. So I probably entered the contact uh, erroneously. So let's go ahead and check that out. So contact E. Hmm, for some reason it didn't save. <clears throat> All right, so I ended up retyping this onto here if we take a look at cron tab cron tab dash e um, we see that it actually I think there was a problem with me putting a zero if you guys remember I put a zero here um, so escape shift zz and it should the first time you you run this it'll it'll tell you installing new cron tab but since I made no changes it, it just told me uh, no changes made 
So I press Control L. Um, let's take a look at this here. Okay, so let's delete this one. And let's try that again. So it so it'll run now. So here I have it at 6:29, but it's 6:30 already. So we'll change that to 30, 32. Uh, hit Escape, Shift, C, Z. And now we wait until it's 6:32. And hopefully it'll run. See how it says installing new cron tab. Hopefully that'll work. Or you know what? Actually, I put it six. Oh man! Since it's six, it's in a 24-hour module, so so it'll actually be 18. It'll be 1832. Hit escape, shift, Z, Z. And now it says installing the cron tab. So if everything goes right this time, which I hope it does, we will see it run. It runs in the background, and then we will see our spreadsheet here. So now we're waiting a couple more seconds here. So it should start running now. And I really hope, there we go. You see that? We have our spreadsheet, open it up. And we get the, we get the data. All right, so I'll just delete that one because I don't, I don't really need it. <clears throat> All right, so let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below um, once again uh, thanks for watching and I'll try to upload more videos on how to do stuff with R and finance alright thanks